It all starts tonight here at the Rico Coliseum. 76 games from now, we'll see if the Toronto Marlies make the playoffs for the fifth consecutive season. The Manitoba Moose are first up twice for the Toronto Marlies. First tonight at 7 o'clock and then, of course, tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. The Moose last year were the St. John's Ice Caps and they finished at the bottom of their division, but just coming off a year where they had the longest season you can possibly have by going to the Calder Cup final against the Texas Stars. The man who coached that team and the team last year, Keith McCambridge, stays with the Winnipeg Jets. And uh, Keith McCambridge saying it's a short time to get ready for the American High Hockey League season. Well, we much like everybody, the um, training camp has been really quick between the uh, time the players have been sent down for the, from the Jets to ourselves. Uh, but we had an opportunity for two exhibition games to get an evaluation, see exactly what we had. Um, you know, we've moved some players out, brought some other players in that have been sent down uh, from the Jets. But overall, uh, we're a young team, a very, very young team. But uh, we've added a couple. Um, stable pieces there with some uh, some veterans uh, in your Hallis Chuck uh, your Harrison uh, obviously Raffle uh, has experience there as a veteran uh, Frazier also uh, so we're hoping those guys are able to um, lead a little bit of, by example and also take a little bit of the uh, the bumps in the road out of the uh, out of the game for the young players well, you got some leadership at North Dakota where you played some of those games those uh, from Andrew McWilliam what's he been like for you no he's been excellent it's um, you know he was um, I gave him the A as one of our assistant captains, and uh, that isn't just um, a, a random choice. I had a chance to sit back, watch how he operates, see how he is in the room, how he is on the bench, uh, how he presents himself. He has a real presence to him on and off the ice, so uh, he's been a good leader for us. And again, with a young team to have a player like Andrew McWilliam uh, lead by example in practices and, and in the games, that's, uh, that's a good piece of the puzzle to have. Andrew, feel a little odd being back here in uh, the Rico Coliseum? Yeah, it's a little different, but uh, no, it's nice. It's nice to come back, see some, some familiar faces, and uh, I'm just excited to get going. Looking at uh, what this uh, Winnipeg Jets organization is about and what it's been for you going into Manitoba, what has been the experience like? It's been great so far. Um, obviously, the organization's first class. I mean, uh, right down from the management to the coaching stuff, it's been, it's been a good transition, so I'm extremely happy. You got a dozen games in last year with the Leafs, obviously showcased this Jets club. Have they talked to you about what they expect out of you? Yeah, a little bit, but I think I know what I, what I expected of myself more so. So I just got to focus on playing my game and uh, see where it takes me. Andrew McWilliam got 12 games with the Toronto Maple Leafs last year and then moved on to the Winnipeg Jets organization, finds himself with the Manitoba Moose facing his old team here in game one of the American Hockey League season. Well, Sheldon Keefe also pointing out that it isn't a lot of time for a team to get ready for the American Hockey League season over training camp, but he feels this Marley's team is prepared. We feel prepared. Um, you know, the message has been the same right from the start uh, of lease camp for these guys. So, you know, despite only having a few days as, as a group, uh, they, they're up to speed. They know what's expected, and, and I think you know they're they're ready to play games. Uh, a lot of them didn't get you know to play too many uh, NHL exhibition games, so they're they're ready and, and uh, anxious to to have some game action. I think they've practiced enough. Now, no morning skate, is that uh, philosophical or is it uh, something you know, scientific based or something you just like to institute yourself? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, I think that uh, you know, morning skates a lot of times are they're done just, just to be done and just to say you did them. But we've got a game here tonight and a quick turnaround for a game on Saturday. Our guys have practiced a great deal. We didn't think we were going to get anything productive done this morning. So uh, we brought the guys in to loosen up off the ice, and we'll have a good team meeting, and we'll get ready for tonight. Last season, the Toronto Marlies got into one round of the playoffs before they were dispatched by the Grand Rapids Griffins. They hope to extend that this year. But first, 76 games to find out if you make the playoffs.